this one, I just vinyl wrapped it. With the uh, 3M G20 gloss silver. I think it matches the uh, Silver Street Nika. Pretty close, so it's not too bad. So, this one to wrap it, I did it in three piece. So, I did this triangle area here, one piece. And then, so I did a seam around here. And then, this full back piece. One piece to the bottom. So pretty much one piece, and then I came. I left like about the quarter of an inch from the edge here, all the way around. That's where I added my third piece. This is my first time wrapping, so there are fifteen points here. So. Or redo them later since I ran out of wrap, but I think now this will do. So here's wiring up the uh, side mirrors, the with the LED turn signal. So for that one, it's this wire. I'm just gonna just leave it here for now. So this just plugs into the mirror. And for now, I'm just gonna tuck it through the the door here and then into the fender and then straight into the engine bay. So this will be covered by the, the door cover for now. And I think that should be okay. So I'm just gonna leave this for a This is the, this is the wire light for the mirror, for the turn signals. So I'll just pass through the through the fender up through here and then it comes through here and I just tapped into the turn signal light so I have this black wire is for the ground wire and this yellow one is uh, I already have it top for it something prior but this one is into the turn signal light or turn signal wire and I believe that is the green that is the green and black wire it's green and black wire on the turn signal board uh, so I already pre-wired the this is for the signal on the mirror I already pre-wired that So I'm trying to take this off without taking the door panel off. Let's see if that works, see if I can access the uh, actual the main harness for the side mirror here. Not that I just have to take off the door panel. So it's just removing the three 10 millimeter bolt in the side mirror. Move the door panel in the way I feel like removing the door panel. So unfortunately, 
have to get the panel off to reach the harness because it's a little bit it's like down here. So I'm just gonna take off the door panel. So just to do that, there's a Phillips head over here on the door handle. Pop up the window switch. And then this armrest right here. Press on the clips. There you have two more bolt fill up head behind here. Click here. Blue and yellow. And then this should just pop right on. So again, here's just a close up. So this wrap collar almost there. I think this wrap might be a certain angle of the light might be a little bit. I think it should be okay. And just know if you do plan on getting this, uh, I guess they call it Altus mirror, powered mirror. Uh, there are two versions. Um, I bought mine off of eBay. Uh, there is a powered manual and a power and a power with the uh, uh, folding function. So this one is the, I guess I didn't look carefully and this is the manual folding so it only has two harness the for the mirror adjustment and then this one is just for the signal um, so if you want the one that has the power function with the actual button to control the mirror folding in and out um, that one is a little bit more expensive and it has a third harness for that function um, so yeah I got a little bit excited and I did win and get the, uh, the additional control with the manual uh, with the power uh, folding function um, I'll probably throw a picture in here of what I modified it fit um, but when I went and did a test fit um, noticed that there was only two harness and there's nothing to connect to that power function from here
this is the air control, this goes back in the original spot. This is the signal. In here for now. Oh, back in the pieces. You're probably wondering why I'm using this over there. I dropped the first one and that vent in there and cannot get it out. So, this other replacement one should be fine. This one, it's up to my nose. Alright, that's it. I'm just put everything back in reverse. Go pound. That's not working. That's not working. All right, got us worked. Guess I just have too many cables and just grounded it to the wrong grounding cable. That one's working now. This side's still working. Okay. 
this is during the daytime. 